Hey everyone, welcome to Audio Gear World. Now, just a while ago, WA Production released a new plugin. Uh, this is Instacort 2. Now, Instacort 2, as the name suggests, is a new version of the original Instacort. Now, what is Instacort? Now, Instacort is a MIDI-based chord generator. It comes packed with artificial intelligence. It will suggest some chords to you and chord progressions. It will also suggest some patterns to you to play those chords with. It will basically create an entire matrix which will let you play those chords and chord progressions very easily by just using one or two fingers. Now the interface may look a little bit daunting at first, but it's actually not that bad once you get into it. Now the first thing to do, logically, would be to select some chords and to create a chord progression. Now we do that over here. Now as you can see, we have 12 different slots for our chords. By the way, these slots correspond to the keys on your actual keyboards. So the lighter ones correspond to the white keys and the darker ones obviously correspond to the black keys. So 12 different slots, but this is just section A, so chords A, but there's also a chords B, and as you can see here we have another 12 slots. So in total we have 24 slots for our chords. Okay, now how do we select chords? Now we can do it manually, so let's take a look at that first. Let's take a look at this first slot over here. The first thing to do would be to select a root note over here, then here we can choose the type of chord we want. As you can see, there's a list of quite a few options, but we can also create our own chord. Um, then here we have some options for the voicing. Uh, and then finally up here, we can transpose uh, it down one octave or up one octave. So that's how you select a chord manually. Now, as I mentioned, Instacore 2 comes with some artificial intelligence and we can use that to have it generate a chord progression for us. Now, we do that over here. So let's do that now. So the first thing to do would be to select a key from over here. And then from this menu, we can select a scale. And then we can just press this button over here and it will generate the chord progression. So let's go. And as you can see, in this case, it has generated five chords for us, a chord progression of five different chords. And now we can add those chords to either chords A or chords B. So let's add them to chords A. And as you can see, it has placed them on the first five slots. Now, once we've created our chord progression, the next question would be, okay, so how do we play any of these chords? Now that is determined over here. So this is where we can select our patterns. Again, you can see we have 12 different slots and that's just section picks A. There's also a picks B with another 12 slots. So in total, again, we have 24 options. Now what is new to Instacore 2 is this section over here. So this will give you a visual presentation of any of those patterns. Now, as you can see in the first slot, we have selected the default pattern and it looks like this. Okay, now let's play this pattern and listen to what it sounds like. Okay, now apart from there being a little bit of a delay in the sound, it is terribly boring. So we might want to liven this up by going in here and making some changes. So let's say that we want this note to start a little bit later. Maybe we want this, we want to make this a little bit shorter and we want to add a few more uh, hits maybe. Uh, okay, let's make this also a little bit shorter and do something like this. Okay, let's listen to what this sounds like. Okay, well, as you can hear, there's a lot more movement there and it just makes it a lot more interesting that way. So we can create and edit these patterns manually, but in that regard, there are two more options. So let's first go to the second slot. And what we can do is we can select a preset. So as you can see, we have quite a few, uh, quite a few presets over here. So arpeggios, strums, riffs, and legacy picks. These are taken from the original Instacord, I guess. But anyway, we can choose one from here. And then the third thing we can do is again, we can use the artificial intelligence and have Instacord 
create a pattern for us. So let's go to the third slot and let's press this button over here. Let me point it out. Okay, this button over here. Uh, and it will generate a um, pattern for us. Let's go. Okay, and it's going to be different each time. So let's listen to what this sounds like. Okay, you get the idea. Now before I do a tiny little demo, let's just take a quick look at the key section down here. So first of all, the keys at the very bottom here, these keys correspond to, first of all, chords A over here. So these 12 keys correspond to these 12 slots over here. And then of course we have the keys for chords B, the keys for Pix A and the keys for Pix B very self-explanatory. Now these blocks can be moved around and we can do that from here. So here is where we can uh, assign a position on that keyboard to any of these blocks. So for example, let's say that we want the keys for chords A, we want to move them a little bit to the right. So then the keys for chords B have to be, uh, have to be removed from this position. So let's do that now. Um, okay, so let's go to chords B, change the position to the beginning, and now we have to move the keys for chord A uh, a little bit to the right, like this. So, um, can be very useful if you have a very small keyboard with just 25 or 32 keys, like I happen to have at the moment. So very useful. Now, and then the keys up here. So these are the output keys. So based on the chords we're playing and the patterns we're playing them with, this is what Instacort outputs. Okay, now let's do a very short little demo. By the way, I've selected a preset from up here. Uh, I would call these uh, global presets. So they will give you a chord progression, but also some, some patterns to play with. So basically the whole thing. Now. Keep your eye on only this area right here so you can see how little effort it takes for me to play uh, what I'm playing. Okay, let's go. So there you have it, just playing with two fingers, that's all it takes. Now, who might this be for? Now, there are four reasons why you might wanna use this. Uh, well, there might be a lot more reasons, but there are four reasons that I can think of right now. So first of all, maybe you're not very good at music theory, but you still wanna record something or play something. This thing might help you out. Another reason might be if you want to do something quickly, let's say you want to produce a piece or something uh, and you know you just don't have a lot of time, this thing might help you out. It can also inspire you, you know, because it, it might suggest some things to you that you might not have thought of and it might inspire you that way. And a fourth scenario might be in a live situation especially if you're a solo artist and i mean you know if you're lucky you only have two arms and ten fingers that will only get you so far especially when if you want to play multiple instruments at the same time well this thing might help you out okay anyway i think it's a great tool and it might be very useful depending on your situation Okay, now should you be interested and you wanna help out the channel, I will leave an affiliate link in the description. You can use that link at no extra cost to you, of course. But that is it for now. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.